links in the description. I'm going to read through pretty much all of the article. It's a fairly short article. It's a sad situation uh, in my mind, and um, it's a bit of a controversial subject to a degree. Essentially, uh, a man has been accused of um, raping uh, and attacking a woman, sexually assaulting her, uh, and he was caught red-handed, as it were. He was uh, he, he was arrested under a citizen arrest. Uh, members of the public apprehended him. So, you know, is he guilty? Well, you know, the court of law and all of that, but, you know, he was caught red-handed. So how can he not be, uh, allegedly? Um, and despite that, despite being caught literally raping a woman, uh, he was being granted bail. Uh, so, you know, that's the controversial aspect. Should he have been granted bail? No, in my mind. But uh, let's have a look. So the headline says, Outrage as accused rapist who attacked a woman walking home and sexually assaulted her before onlookers pulled him off is granted bail. Uh, a man who allegedly had been had to be pulled off a woman as he raped her in a suburban street has been granted bail, sparking calls for New South Wales, Australia, broken laws to be addressed. Uh, Jason Williams, 35 years of age, was arrested after allegedly attacking a 56-year-old woman as she walked home from an area called Reevesby uh, in Sydney's southwest about 12.15 a.m. on Sunday, so just after midnight on Sunday morning. Uh, police will allege the woman was walking on Marco Avenue when Williams approached her, shoved her to the ground, then sexually assaulted her. He then allegedly had to be dragged off his victim when brave passers-by responded to her screams for help and tried to run before the uh, witnesses performed a citizen's arrest. Uh, so literally, she was screaming. Um, this would have been, you know, very, very early Sunday morning. So there's people in the area on a Saturday night they heard her screams and um, they've uh, they, they've apprehended the victim who tried to run away, uh, but uh, uh, brave passers-by caught him. Uh, New South Wales police said the woman was treated by paramedics before being taken to Liverpool Hospital, while Williams, Jason Williams, the uh, alleged rapist, was remanded in custody to face court the next day. Williams was granted bail uh, and will not be required to reappear in court until January of next year. Uh, the decision to grant Williams bail has sparked fury from both sides of politics, with P Police Minister David Elliott calling for an urgent review into the decision. Into the decision. Um, Mr. Elliott told the Daily Telegraph it was a slap in the face for victims of crime and women, and he would speak to the Attorney General about the matter. Uh, bail should not be granted to people charged with commercial drug trafficking, firearm or serious sexual offences, full stop and no excuses. So I personally fully support uh, the police minister's view in that. I just don't understand why the police would grant this guy uh bail i mean if they, i would imagine that the, and i'm guessing here i'm a layman I, i'm not really experienced covering these topics uh, but i would imagine if if there was serious doubt as to the guilt of the alleged or the arrested person that's alleged to be a, a rapist if there's serious doubt okay i could perhaps see an argument for uh bail to be granted but you know, when he's apprehended in the midst of the criminal act, the, the serious criminal act of sexual assault, why would you, why would you grant bail? Uh, is, is he not considered a danger to, the, to society? Is he not considered a risk of flight? You know, perhaps he wants to run away or perhaps he wants to avoid justice and take his own life. I don't know. To me, it just it as the uh, what's his the guy's name, David Elliott, the police minister, as he says, it's a slap in the face. 
Well, he says it's a slap in the face to victims of crime and to women. Yeah, I mean, it it really is. It's it's a slap in the face to society. Uh, I mean, most of us try to do the right thing. And, you know, every now and then you get guys, uh, people, uh, men and women, that break heinous laws and they get a slap on the wrist or, or they get let off scot-free. I mean, where is the justice? Where's the justice? If no justice is applied, then there is no justice. 